All right, thank you for coming back and checking out another action figure review. Today we do got Mantis from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. I did know I said I was going to put a list on the video for Star-Lord, but unfortunately I didn't have any pictures of the box set, and I couldn't find any online I can go ahead and upload. So what I was going to go ahead and do is just list them now here. First of all, the first three would be Star-Lord. Second one, of course, Mantis. Third one is Drax. Oh no, third one's Nebula, fourth one's Drax, then Rocket, then Adam Warlock, Kraglin, and then we will go ahead and get into the Gru Deluxe figure as well. Starting off with the just pose, I think the posability with Mantis is incredible. I do overall like it compared to our previous figure that we've had of Mantis. But let's go ahead and get into this figure review and go ahead and take a look at the Mantis figure. All right, to go ahead and jump into this video, we do got Mantis just standing straight up. Overall, I'm really liking this body. Um, first thing I noticed is that everything on this new body is brand new from the arms, the legs, the torso. It is all new for this figure. Um, the only thing that I am seeing is that the head scope is exactly the same as the one from the previous one. The only difference is um, it's kind of hard to get it on camera. It's just the eyes. With this old mantis, you can go and see she just has black eyes for the pupils, while this one kind of has a little bit of white around it um, compared to the old one. But besides that, everything on this body is brand new, which it looks amazing. Overall, the head scope, even though it is reused, I do like this one more than the old one. It has a little bit more in the eyes, I think. With the eyes, it doesn't make the figure look so dead. It makes it look a little bit more alive. With the antennas that she does have, when I did get it, it wasn't really any cross. All I did was heat it up a little bit and move them to the side. So if something like that happens with yours, you can just heat it up a bit and move them and hold them until it cools down. You can go ahead and have that, you know, with no issues. With the actual body, everything looks amazing, even with the back. And um, that's one thing else um, I do see a lot is with the back of the figures, they will lose the attention to detail. But overall, there's not much going on with the back that would be going ahead and missing out. To go ahead and get into articulation with this new Mantis figure. Um, same thing with the head scope as the old one. You're not going to be able to get much out of it looking up or down. That's just because of the hair in the background and the hair in the front. That's just going to be going ahead and preventing that. With the actual body, you can go ahead and have this um, swivel, I believe, at the, the cut. And you can go ahead and get her crunching about that far forward and that far back. And then you can go ahead and get her tilting that much to the side and that much to the side. With the actual arms, you can go ahead and get her reaching out about 90 degrees. She does have that thigh, uh, not the thigh cut, the, what would you call that? Ah, uh, the bicep swivel, my bad, I forgot what it was called. And then with the arms, she does go ahead and have double jointed pinless, um, pinless joints. Um, different from the actual Starler one that we are seeing since this one is a completely new body mode. That's one thing that gives it away right away, that's new. With the hand, it does go ahead and bend up that much. Because I haven't been forward this much. I believe these are, oh, actually, I believe these are the exact same hands that we were seeing with the old one. Um, just the only thing difference is that they did go ahead and add a little bit to the actual hand and then made it black. But overall, I think the, both the hands are basically the same. With the belt, once again, this is also just a loose piece. But it sits on there tight, so really it doesn't move. And there is no waist cut or anything like that. She can go ahead and kick forward about that far. And kick back a little to none. And she does have a thigh cut. And she does have double jointed knees. Once again with the, the pinless. And she does go ahead. And this is one thing I actually forgot to mention with the Star-Lord. They have the boot swivel. As you can see I have him right over here. He does have that boot swivel as well. Even though it's very minimal. It does swivel at the boot. And then when it does come down to the legs, you can go ahead and see with the legs, it does go ahead and bend forward that much with the ankle, and then it bends forward that much. And then it does have amazing pivot. Originally when I was looking at these, I thought it may have had a um, ankle um, joints, but no, it's just kind of how the boot is shaped. But overall, the body's um, articulation is amazing. I haven't seen any issues with trying to pose her. And in any way I'd like, as you saw at the beginning of the video, I had her pose in kind of a squatting but a wear kind of pose. And she looked great in it. That's how I have her pose on my shelf 
overall the body i think is an amazing there's nothing that i could go ahead and add probably except for like a cut right here when the um in the waist area just so we can go ahead and you know be able to turn it right there rather than having a lie on the chest cut but overall the only thing i would say is probably that and then being able to go ahead and make the head look up and look down but at that point i'm just you know nitpicking as you can see here, I do have the Mantis Builder figure next to the Valium 3 one, just so we can get a size comparison. And first off the bat, you can go and see that the Guardians of the Galaxy Valium 3 one is actually taller than the Builder figure. I do believe it may be in these legs. These legs look a little longer than this one. As you can see, the hip is about right here with the old one, while the hip on the new one's right here. But overall, I think it looks amazing. I don't even think the size difference causes any issues. To go ahead and move this old mantis out of the way and bring in the star lord i had just a moment ago he is standing right next to her and i don't think the size um is that off i do think she should be a little bit shorter than star lord a bit more than what it is showing right now maybe he should be a little bit taller um as we get into more of the figures i can go ahead and tell you which one should be taller or shorter but off the bat, I think it just made that she be she may be just a little bit too tall compared to the other figures. But overall, I think she looks amazing. The matching uniforms look great, and when they are, you know, together, of course. Um, one thing I'm seeing compared to this Starler to this Mantis is right there on the chest. This emblem looks to be having some actually printed on detail. Well, this one looks like it is just flat. I'm not sure if that's a design choice, like it's going to be in the movie because he's supposed to be like the leader of the Guardians and he has it up raisin while well, hers is not. Or I don't know if it was just a design or concept art that may have had two different designs that they went with. But overall, I think the costumes look amazing with both Mantis and Star-Lord and I think they look great together. Just my final thoughts with this Mantis. Overall, I think it's an amazing figure and I think it is pretty screen accurate. I don't think I did it in the beginning, but just in case if I didn't, let me go ahead and move it to the side and once again put up the picture over here. Overall, I think it looks amazing. Once again, I think the colors on this one are just a little bit bright compared to the actual final product, but I do believe that's just because of the concept art that Marvel Legends had while going off of. As you can see, um, with if you have seen the SH Figure Arts one, they look a little bit darker than the Marvel Legends. But overall, I like this figure. I think it's an amazing figure to have. If you don't have yourself the Builder Figure Mantis, this is one I would recommend picking up. I do know that Builder Figure Mantis did go up quite a bit in price. Um, I luckily got a whole lot full of Guardians of the Galaxy members, um, and Mantis did come along with them complete. Um, so that's why, like I mentioned in my previous video, the Star Lord, I didn't buy him when he was released, it was through eBay. But overall, I think this figure is great. I have no complaints about it except for the head not being able to look up and probably the cut out the waist. But overall, I think the figure is amazing. And I think if you have the opportunity to pick it up, you should. But that's going to be going ahead and bringing our figure review to an end today with this Mantis figure. Um, I just want to go ahead and once again thank you all for watching to the end of the video if you are still here with us. And if you don't have the time or you don't mind, if you can go ahead and push a like subscribe and comment to let me know what you are thinking on these videos reviews if you have anything that you suggest to go ahead and change to make these videos just that much better please do go ahead and let me know in the comment section below and once again please no spoilers for the movies for those who have not watched it like myself or anyone that might be watching these videos